Hey YouTube, Red Eyes 115 here, bring you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And this time, instead of having one character unlock video, it's actually two. Because in our last update for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, the character Kite has became available for anyone. You no longer have to unlock the event. You basically just have to do different challenges to get them. And then also now today, starting at least last night at midnight, we had the ability to unlike, unlock um, Trey. But anyway, let's hop into the game and talk about this. Okay, now to start off, we're going to talk about unlocking Kite in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, like I said, Kite right here, he's now unlockable. You don't have to wait for, uh, well, wait for the event to actually get him. But to actually unlock Kite, now basically once you get to Duel Worlds, well, Reach stage 6 in Zexal World, his challenges will become available, and then those challenges will be achieve one comeback victory in duel against Kite at level 30 using Yuma and Astral, use a rank 4 or higher Xyz monster card two times in one duel against Kite, and achieve one win with a thousand or, life, or less life points left in the duel against Kite using Yuma and Astral. When one duel win seven turns against Kite, ten against Kite while playing as Yuma and Astral, and then collect three light attribute cards. So that means pull from any box, go to the card collector, get three light attribute monsters, and then basically the one I said before that it's a speed run. You have to beat Kite before that counter says it's turn seven. Has while playing as Yuma and Astral. But anyway, if you didn't see any of that, basically I have a screenshot of the chances up here and also when you go into well let me go to 5d worlds real quick to show you an example of where you will see kite challenges in game because there's one at least 5d's character i have unlocked which is trudge so you will go to the world challenges and it will show you character unlock missions here so as you see right here you will see kite's picture if you were in zexal world and reach world level 6 you will see the chances to unlock him here but anyway now that we got that the way let's go back to sexual world and talk about how to unlock Trey and actually unlock him and go to his skills and level up rewards okay now to actually unlock the character Trey here you have to complete episode 2 and how you complete episode 2 is by getting 480,000 points in the event and basically how you get those points is either one wait for him to spawn in the world right here or go to the gate and if you're not already on the tab go ahead and pick right here where it says Trey arrives and battle him here it can be on any level just know that the higher the level is the more points you will get to unlock him faster but anyway, let's go ahead and hop into a duel and actually beat him. But since I know this deck isn't up for it right now. Here we go, Yuma. Yeah. Let's see, what level is this? Trey. Trey! Hey, Yuma. I bought you some chronomalies. Thanks, Yuma. You're a big help. No problem. You learned anything from from him yet? I'm just gathering as many as I can for now. I'm running experiments later. If you're not doing tests, how about we do something different? You mean duel? Sure. Duel. You sure love to duel, Yuma. Of course. I can't be the champ if you don't. Actually, do you think you can be champion someday? But, you know, it takes more than the heart. That's why I need all the practice I can get. So let's go, Trey. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Yuma. Okay, and it's a level 40 Trey. I believe my, well, the free to play version of Mono Match couldn't beat him. And I say that and watch him get clapped. Here goes. 
Okay. So the play here will be Dodo Dodo Draw. Discard it. Okay. So going on with some Gaga Ga Mantra. Exceeds into Yubaba Gaga Ga Coke. Yubaba too. Okay. Uses effect. Bring that back. And then, just for now, go into Gagaga Cowboy in defense mode. That way the bulk can still be live. Just gonna go ahead and pop off the skill just because. But that dude though. Oh no. Now this is bad. Please, get off my field. And like I thought, we're gonna hold an L here. Yeah, we holding the L. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, let's see if we still got the points anyway. Okay, we still got the points needed to unlock them, so it is what it is. I win. If you're seeking revenge, I'll be around. Okay, more cringy voice acting. <clears throat> so, this is where you've been hanging out, Trey. Kacha, you must... You must have a lot of free time if you can't take a vacation to a virtual world. I can say the same about you. You've been coming here a lot lately. Yeah, but unlike you, it's for business. I can't disappoint my legions of fans. Right. Kracho, I've been thinking. What do you think of Duel Links? I love this world. There's no sorts of opponents to duel. But you think it's strange that they can build an entire world of, out of memories? Who uses this much technology for a game? And there's a many duelists here that I've never met before. Of course, you don't know all of them. Duelists come from around the world. But how are there so many great players? They are strong as you, and you're the natural champion. If they that talented, I have data on them, but I have nothing, it's weird. Who are you trying to imply, Trey? If there's a duelist we don't know in this world? Yeah. That means someone created them from their memories. These duelists must exist in the past. Actually, they may be duelists from the future. Whoa, whoa, slow down. But if they not from the future, maybe they from another dimension. A different dimension? 
My gut say the extinction of duelings is connected with all of oh, the existence of duelings is connected to our investigation. Or maybe you're overthinking everything. Think back. We found duelings out of the blue. You think they advertise a game this big? And have you heard of uh, and have you heard of this company called Kybercorp? This is just a theory, but maybe duelings came to our dimension from another dimension. That makes duelings itself a chronomaly, an alien artifact from another world. <laughs> Are you listening to yourself? You and your imagination. I know you love chronomalies, but this is taking it too far. I'm serious, Quattro. Okay, okay. I leave the thinking to you and Quentin. I just keep doing what I'm here to do. But if you really think Duel Links is an alien artifact, you need to find proof. I understand. I find evidence that Duel Links is connected to another world. Okay, cool. You do that. If you meet an opponent you can't defeat, give your brother a holler. I'll help you. Thanks, Quattro. Duelist has a superior win against Possessed Duelist level 20, currently in Duel World. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to beat the Possessed Duelist to actually get Quattro. So let me think. Well, not get Quattro, but Trey. So let's use our old class of ours to actually get a win this time. Yeah, for Duel against Possessed Duelist, you can use Trey event. That I guess we're using trades of index to actually learn what chronometry is supposed to do effects are. And if you're new to the channel and don't know what I mean by it, that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, that basically means if there's an archetype that has an effect that goes across multiple cards, that's what I consider the archetype. That's what I'm supposed to do effects. But anyway, let's see what chronometry has got. See, when a face chronomic monster you control is destroyed by battle or by a card of face sent to the grave, I'll express some one level four lower chronomic monster from your deck and face up the face position. It cannot change its battle position. So you get express some chronomic in your deck to the field and defense position, but it's stuck in defense. Okay. Let's see, what you do? Your opponent controls the monster and you control no monster. You can express some of this card from your hand. When it's summoned this way, you can express some in one chronomic monster from your hand. On I also get another summon for free, which will get us to a rank three play. Yes. How should say no to that effect? Get popping off. I built the overlay network. I, I XC summon. Okay. Just for more damage faster, let's do this. Let's ditch the skull. You know, this card would kind of be good with Reptilian, but they have to be rock. That's the only downside.
Yeah, let's bring this to an end. Okay, so now we should have Trey. Huh? What? Who? Where? Why? How? Your counterattack couldn't touch me. Yuma is gathering numbers again in a whole new world. But that's what you do when you want to help your friends, and I help you. My brother and I are investigating the link between dual links and other dimensions. What you're doing and what we're doing may seem like different tasks, but I disagree. If I'm right, Duel Links is going to get bigger or tougher. <laughs> Yuma, I fought against you in the past, but this time, I will fight together. Because you're not alone. The bond we built through our battles will be our strength. There's still so much more I need to do to prepare. It's crazy that I abducted Astro in the past, but we we'll now need to fight side by side because Variant's world is going to invade this world. Oh, so they are bringing the Variant later. Okay, neat. You can now use Trey in his deck. Obtain Trey's skill, Divine Artifact. Trey's number six, Chronomaly Atlantis, is not fitted. Get him in a new box or use him via the skill. Right. Now that we have him, let's actually go check out Trey and see his skills and level of rewards. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so here we are. We now have the character Quattro, not Quattro, Trey. <laughs> but anyway, just like usual for most of the main characters that we get, they basically don't get the boss monster like off the back. You have to go through the new box. Which first for me, I'm skipping the new box. I'm just gonna wait for the Arc 5 box to come out. But anyway, let's look at his skills on level of rewards. Starting off with the one you get off the bat, which is the Vi Artifact at the beginning of the duel. You start with number six chronomaly or Atlantis. It's added to your extra deck and the distance. This effect can't be used once per duel. Reveal one chronomaly monster in your hand and change the level of all chronomaly monsters on the field to that monster's level. And then see, we get some gems like usual. Then we get Chronomaly Mayan Machine. This card can be treated as true tribute for the tribute summon of a machine type monster. So, like a weird Chronomaly Machine type deck. Okay. Then at level 7, we get Chronomaly Kabara Trabucha. Budget. Trust me, I'm going to butcher most of these names, but it's a level 4 Rock Earth monster. Once per turn, you contribute one other Chronomaly monster, then target one face of monster you upon the control. Its attack becomes zero until the end of the phase. Yeah, like cards like this and that organic monster makes me feel like they'd be great for like the Vipers slash a Reptilian deck. Granted. They are rocks, but still, the effect is pretty good for those two archetypes. Since the whole stick is make your opponent monster zero, wants to attack one zero, end up destroying the monster because it got that low. But anyway, Chronomaly Pyramid Eye Tablet, all Chronomaly monsters you control gain 800. The Chronomaly Crystal Bone that we was playing with the test deck. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can spell summon this card from your hand. When summoned this way, you can spell summon one Konomaly monster from your hand or graveyard, except Konomaly Crystal Bone. Now, this one I was thinking was pretty alright. It was just like in the turn that I used it in that test stand, I could have waited and went ahead and discard the Crystal Skull, search for another one. But eh, it is what it is. Granted, in its effect, it doesn't say I. Oh, there you go. Except crystal. So, never mind. Okay. That's one of those skills that we don't worry about. A repeat. A repeat. 
a repeat, a repeat. So just know you're getting a play set of those then. Tons of gems. Okay, so basically we're getting three copies of all of the cards here. So I think I've only seen this one twice. Nope, only once. Okay, so we only get one copy of Chronomaly Technologies. But anyway, let's go look at the skills that's only for Trey. Which will be Chronomaly Re Resonance. I'm going with that. You turn one Chronomaly monster on your field to your hand and play one Chronomaly monster with a level higher than that monster you turn. This skill can only be used once per turn. Okay, this can be used from some uh, well, <laughs> some XE Synetic in place. Let's see, Duel of Babylon. Begin the duel with Chronomaly City Babylon activ activated. The seal can only be used if you begin the duel with a deck or X deck that contains no monsters other than Chronomaly monsters or none of the monsters. Once you turn, you can banish one Chronomaly monster from your rare yard and target one Chronomaly monster in your rare yard with the same level as the banished monster, plus a summon it. Okay, so if you have a brick hand, this field spell basically helps you replace it. Well, no, it says you got banished from the graveyard. And I was thinking you could probably do Light Swarm Snakes with it, but it says the deck also has to be only Chronomalies. So, yeah, Chronomaly deck, this is alright. They just don't really have a way to recycle their banished stuff. Family gr Gift can only be used the turn you have activate the effect of Chronomaly spell card. Turn one card from your hand to your deck, and that Chronomaly Aztec Mask go into your hand from outside your deck. During your turn, if you have activated a Chronomaly spell card previous turn, you can still summon this card from your hand. Okay. Gateway to another dimension. Send one monster from your deck slash extra deck to your graveyard and change the level of all monsters on your field to the level slash rank of the monster you have sent to the graveyard. If you send a monster to your graveyard from your deck, you can send one monster to your graveyard from your hand. This skill kit will only activate if you begin to do a wet deck that follows the conditions below. Your deck slash extra deck contains no monsters other than chronomalies, monsters, or like number of monsters. Your deck contains 12 or more Chronomaly monsters. Okay, because until we got to the conditions, I was about to say, so I, you want people to use this for Zark. Because with that same cards from your extra deck part, I was merely thinking, great, send Sauron Venom, send Dark Rebellion, send. <laughs> I was just immediately thinking, alright, here comes Zark. But. No, they nerfed the skill to where you can't do stuff like that. Of late generation. Play line energy. Play one monster with three arsenal or above attack on both players field. And switch the attack of the two monsters. The skill can only be used once per duel. I feel like this will just be fun for trolling. But anyway, let's keep going. See no more outdated artifacts. Turn one Konami monster in your graveyard to your hand that was sent to the graveyard at least two turns before your turn. The skill going to be used once per duel. Okay. This is a couple of seconds for that. We Atlantis, select one number six Chronomaly Atlantis on your field and equip one number monster from your graveyard to the number six Chronomaly Atlantis. And if it were equipped by this monster's effect, this skill can only be used once per duel. Okay, so for people who don't know, number six Chronomaly Atlantis is a, well, rank six XC's monster. He takes two level six to go into. 
When this card is exceeds summoned, you can target one number monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack equal to half the, the attack of the equipped monster. Once per turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card. Then send the monster equipped by this effect to the graveyard. Have your opponent's life points. You cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. You activate this. So, uh, yeah, you kind of want to use real Atlantis for his skills so you can still battle. But anyway, that's the skills. That's the level of rewards. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all as soon as I feel like having the energy to record. So I've been trying to record this all day. But just been tired from working all week. But anyway, I'm out. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.